To create this effect you will need two necessary files, a watercolor paper pattern, and a watercolor brush, so first I will tell you how to install these both files in Photoshop. First open the brush folder and copy this brush file. Then go to your installation folder, where you installed the Photoshop, I always install in my C drive so I will go there. Then go to program files. Then open the Adobe folder. Then go to Photoshop folder. Then find the presets folder. Now open the brushes folder and paste that brush file in this folder. Now open the pattern folder and copy the provided pattern file. Then go back to presets folder and find the pattern folder. Then paste that pattern file in this pattern folder. Perfect. Now open your Photoshop. Here I'm taking a new file. You can use the same resolution. For this example I will use this image which is downloaded from unsplash.com. If your image is in normal mode then first convert it into smart object. Then go to filter and choose filter gallery. Then from artistic folder select dry brush. And play with these sliders to achieve the same results. These settings are not universal because every image has different properties, so just try to make the same effect. But if you are using the same size and resolution you can try my settings. Then again go to filter and filter gallery. This time choose this cutout effect and try to match the effect as mine. Perfect. Then just double click on the settings button. Then change its blending mode from normal to pin light. Then once again go to filter, blur, and choose smart blur. For this example I will use 5.0 radius with 100% threshold and quality is low. Then double click on settings button. Change the blend mode to screen, and decrease the opacity according to your image brightness. Then again go to filter, stylize, and choose find edges.
then open its settings, and change its blending mode from normal to multiply. And decrease the opacity. Approximately this much. Now we need to modify our filter, let me show you closely. Just look at this, we can easily fix this by changing the brush size in filter. Just double click on first filter, to open the filter gallery. If your image don't need this modification then skip this step, but if you face the same problem you can fix like this. Perfect. Then add a pattern layer on top. Click on gear icon and select watercolor pattern. Then click OK. Now decrease the pattern size according to your image size. Now change its blending mode to multiply. Then select your image layer, hold the Alt key and click on layer mask button to add the black mask, it will hide everything. Then select white color as your foreground color, take the brush tool. Right click and load the watercolor brushes, follow the steps. And you can also load the brushes by clicking on this load button. Just browse your brush file and click on load. But because I have copied the brush file, so I can choose directly from my brushes collection. And same as you can load the pattern file, if you don't want to save these files permanently in your Photoshop. Just click on gear icon, click on load, browse your pattern file, Select the file and click on load. Now let's go back to our work. So these are our brushes, there is no restrictions or instructions you can use any brushes randomly, but focus on my technique and try to understand. The brush size is too large, you can use square bracket keys to resize the brush. Try to choose a different brush for each stroke. And you can also add curve adjustment layer to fix the shadows. Perfect. And you can also increase or decrease the saturation. So, I hope you will like this effect and will try on your photos, if you like this effect press the like button, and press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. See you in next tutorial soon, thanks for watching.